Hello guys, welcome to another Commander game. Playing Aloro, and it looks like we are against Tassiger this time. Uh, this hand is pretty good. We'll keep it. Don't have any white mana, so that might be a problem, but we'll see. Should probably have played the Sunken Hollow there. Alright, play out that Signet, pass it back. <coughs> Command Tower, pretty good. Uh, I'll play that out so that we could hold up Swords. Now we need to draw some Planeswalkers. Frantic Search, sure thing. I wonder if he's doing some kind of reanimation thing. Jukabog should be good uh, good in this matchup, so I might hold on to that for a little bit. Or perhaps I use it now. Well, I mean too late now, because I wasn't thinking, but... Hmm. It's an interesting card. I don't think I've ever seen this one. What is this? Oh, it's just Tassier. Okay. Ah, crap. That's too slow turning off the auto yields. Oh well. Alright. Um, I'm going to play a land here, so that I can play Chromatic Lantern and still pay for it. Instead of uh, the alternative option, which is Bajugabog. I'll probably Bajugabog next turn. Uh, if you play as Task Figure, and then I'm going to kill it, and then Bajuka Bog. Actually, he's going to exile two cards right here, huh? Huh? Maybe not. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Oh, dig through time, though. Interesting. So if I exile that graveyard, he won't be able to do Task Figure. Tessica was the uh, deck I was considering building as an alternative to this one, actually. Or, like, when I was building this one. It was uh, my other idea, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven mana, so you could probably just play Tasker either way next turn. So I'm not gonna bother. Prep to K, okay. Not a big deal. Should have floated a black. Our set. Maybe a good draw. Lands. There's always lands on top. Card stinks. Um...
I think I will continue to wait on the way to Chico Pog. There's nothing here that's super scary if he does get it back somehow. And really all that does is let him delve out Tasigur, but I was yeah, pretty sure he has likely to have enough mana to cast him anyways. Yep, there he is. Alright, let us go up. Another land. Getting really unlucky with the lands lately. A Jukabog. Now's as good a time as any, I guess. One, two. Yeah, we'll cast a Loro. White, blue, black, one, two, three. And I will pay for Mystic Study. Mystical Tutor, okay. And we'll F6. So we got flooded pretty bad here. So what spells did we draw this game? We drew Narset, we drew Chromatic Lantern, and that's it, right? Everything else we've drawn is a land, I believe. And we're on turn 8, so we've had 8 draws, and we've gotten 2 spells. Feels bad, man. And one of them was just more mana. So playing Aluro there was primarily to protect Narset, um, but it also gives me a chance to draw cards on my turn. He did bounce it though, it looks like. Capsize. And he paid buyback, interesting. Oh my gosh. Oh, another land. Sucks. Got nothing else to do. So that's gonna be ten cards, ten or er, <laughs> ten cards, eight lands, ten cards, nine mana sources. A bit rough. Rough on that RNG. Ponder. That's something. Hmm, okay. So he has cap size. So all spells might be questionable. I could just play her and make three one ones every turn, right? Like that's not the end of the world. Cyclonic Rifts would be pretty okay as well. I'll keep these. And we'll go like that. They should let us protect Narset too. All goes according to plan. <laughs> Toxic Deluge. Nope. That is the death of Narset then. Not a big deal. 
kind of not the most useful of planeswalkers. Definitely on the uh, chopping block if I ever get around to you cleaning up this deck. Right next to uh, picking up a mind twist. That'd be a nice top deck right now. Well, maybe not with that Passager. So he can capsize with buyback here. I imagine that's his plan. If he doesn't do that, then I just minus Elspeth. Why don't I do that in the first place, actually? I mean, you can just recast it. But if that's what he wants to do, do I care? Let's go up. And Cyclonic Rift is interesting. I think I'm going to cast a Loro. Um, I think I'm not going to. The only reason I could think of for him not to capsize here is because counter magic or something like that. You could take Expedition Map, I guess. Or Board Wipe, um, and I didn't want to play a Loro. If he, I think he has a Board Wipe here. So I might be uh, pushing hard towards the Elspeth alt here. Or towards protecting her in general. But again, he can capsize with buyback anytime he wants, so I probably will just be using plus one and minus three all over the place. Do I Cyclonic Rift here? Hmm, nah. We'll do this though. Give him back expedition map again. Get in for some damages. I think I'm okay with playing all row now. So I won't be able to overload a Psychonic Rift, but I don't see much reason to worry about that at the moment. Let's see what he got. Imagine he uses Expedition Map and then plays Tassigir and exiles it and pretty much puts me in a position where I have to give him back a card that he wants. Oh, Yagamoth's Will. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Toxic Deluge? Merchant Scroll? Really? What you gonna get? High Tide. Okay. He casted it. Hmm. What is he doing? Turn about. Okay. And then clouds of mana. A 
Was not expecting a combo deck out of this. Mine's Desire. Okay. Amir Signet. Can't see. Tropical Island. Miscalculation. Nothing crazy there. Hmm. What are we doing now? I guess we wait and see if he uh, has anything else to do. What's Storm at now? This doesn't show me even mousing over that. Wonder if I could, uh, no. Shuffle these in a way to uh, put it on top. Guess not. Brainstorming. Okay. Home of Awakening. Gush. And he's scooped. So I guess he was trying to storm off. And he fizzled out there. Alright. Well, worse for me. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.